Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use trig functions on the Casio FX115 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the mode setup key that looks like this located here, the inverse key that looks like this located here, as well as the sine, cos, and tan keys that look like this, located here. When we're doing trig equations with this calculator, we have to tell our calculator what format we're using, if we're using degrees, radians, etc. To do this, we press Shift and then the Mode key. That'll bring us to this menu here where we have number 3, degrees, 4, radians, or 5, gradients. For these examples, we'll be using degrees, so we'll need to select number 3. If you're working in radians or gradients, you'll need to select those. So, for us, degrees, number 3. And now we see a D at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in degree mode. For the basics, if we just want to find the sine, cos, or tan of a number, for example, sine of 30 degrees, what we do is press sine 30, close our brackets, and press equals. And this calculator likes to give our results in fractions, so we get a result of 1 over 2, which, if we want to convert to a decimal, we can use this S to D key and get a result of 0 0.5. For cosine, we press cos of 30, close our bracket, and press equals, which also gives us a fraction that can be converted to a decimal of 0 0.8660, etc. And for tan, we use the tan key, enter our 30 degrees, close our brackets, and press equals. And again, we get a fraction, which converts to 0 0.5773, etc. We can also find cosecant, secant, and cotangent with this calculator. To do that, we have to use the inverse of the corresponding function. So, for example, if we want to find the cosecant of 30 degrees, we need to use sine. So we press sine 30, close our brackets, and then hit the inverse key. That's this x to the power of minus 1 here. There we go. We see the negative 1 there. Press equals, and see we get a result of 2. So the cosecant of 30 degrees is equal to 2. For secant, we use cos. So we go cos 30, close our bracket, and inverse, and press equals. And this gives us a fraction, which we can convert to 1.1547, etc. For cotangent, we use tan. So we hit tan of 30, close our bracket, and inverse equals, and we get a result of the square root of 3, which we can convert to a decimal of 1.7320, etc. We can also find arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan with this calculator. To do that, we use the shift function of the sine, cosine, and tangent key, which has the negative 1 above the sine, cos, and tan symbol. This lets us go from the result, or the decimal, backwards and determine how many degrees were used in the initial function. So if we had 0 0.5 and wanted to find the arc sine, 
we would press shift sine and there we see a sine to the negative one which is different than the cosecant keep in mind and then enter our 0 0.5 close our bracket and press equals and see we get a result of 30 degrees so the arc sine of 0 0.5 is equal to 30. For the arc cos, we'll use 0 0.8660, which was our rounded result. So you go shift cos 0 0.8660, close our bracket, and press equals, and we get what would round to 30 degrees. For arctan, we'll use our rounded result of 0 0.5774. So we press shift tan 0 0.5774, close our bracket, and press equals. And again, we get what would round to 30 degrees. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.